Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So big news, Google has just dropped their brand new AI model called the Nano Banana. And it is honestly insane. This thing has around like 99% character consistency, I mean, which means that your outputs looks the same across different images. And if you have used other AI models uh, before, then you know how big of a deal is that, right? So let me quickly show you uh, what I mean. I've got a workflow here, as you can see. Uh, this is a very simple workflow, but uh, you know, um, let's just do one thing. Let's just test it out directly. So let's execute the workflow. And it's uh, basically going to open up the form, choose the file. Let's choose any image of a dress or something. Okay, this is a random prompt. Let's click on submit and cancel this. It's going to run and check this out. The results look stunning vibes the details even the little things like her you know uh, the dots the prints on this uh, dress looks the same let me show you the exact uh, photo that we had so if you can see it this is the uh, you know the dress and this is the model you can see the image looks real it looks so realistic right and this is just a start with nano banana you can actually build your own agents AI agents think of it like you know creating a system that generates ugc uh you know user generated content right so for you uh you know we can just try on the outfits product photos lifestyle images whatever you name it right so today uh this video is all about like uh how to generate product images with models automatically this is a part of a bigger workflow and basically this has four steps and i'm going to be uploading those uh you know covering the uh, those four steps in the upcoming videos so stay tuned uh for the channel so subscribe to this channel if you haven't okay so let's start building this uh, from scratch so that you can understand how to build this and i'm so also i'm going to be leaving everything all the documents workflow uh the prompts and everything in the document uh down below you will have the link okay so let's start building this okay the first thing that we need to do is click on the plus and add the form right so we need to add the edit and form where we are, are going to just get grab the information like images and the prompt right so the uh let's just give this a name of random name of this form which is going to be ugc pro ai agent okay and leave the description as it is let's add the element the first element is going to be the file because we're going to be uploading the file image right upload image right and uncheck this one and add another element which is going to be the text and here we can go with the prompt because this is going to be the prompt uh, part okay go back and if we execute this workflow it will pop up the form and that's it so let's go ahead and upload the image and okay so this is going to be the image and uh okay the prompt uh that we're going to be using this one is here wear this dress to a woman who is sitting on a couch oh sorry couch um in the um, okay in the balcony on the balcony and having a coffee coffee okay that's it so let's submit I'm just giving it a random uh, prompt you know it could be wrong or something but it's fine so okay now, now it's done it has pushed the details now let's go ahead and add http request now you would say why the first thing is because we need to upload this image somewhere right so the free source for uploading this image for the for the time being is going to be the img dbb uh img bbb sorry so just go to this link and make an account it's free and then go back to uh, go back to this document and can, uh, go back to this api imgbb.com which will take you to this uh page and will give you the api key uh, so you have to click on add api key you will see this key okay now go back to the this here and you have to copy this uh, this URL okay copy go back to your uh, anything keep this method as post and the URL is going to be the same thing uh, and in the in the it says your API key you have to remove this part and copy this API key that you have right 
so this is going to be this one and paste it in here that is it and uh, let's go ahead and add send body and the json is going to be the form data here we can go with an edit and binary file because we have the binary file in here you can go, go with any name i would say like image and but here input field name should be the same name that you have in here okay so just paste it in here and if we execute it is going to upload this image on our you know uh, this IMB, uh, IMGBB okay so what we can do is we can simply check it out so it has given us the URL go back to this one go click on go to as you can see this was the address that we have selected so now it has been uploaded in the system let's rename this node as well and it's going to be upload image okay now uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to just go ahead and, and analyze the image for that thing we will use the open ai so it's going to be open ai and here we're going to be using the analyze uh, image this one uh well you will have your credentials uh, i have got like free api credits from uh, anything directly you can go ahead and do that or you can add your own credentials it's simple i have seen, shown it you know multiple times on the videos right so what you have to do is uh, analyze image here we can just go with any of the models i will go with gpt4 or mini and in the text input we need to delete this now we have our own prompt for this one so go back to the document and this is the image analysis prompt so what we have to do is copy this entire prompt copy it and paste it directly in here you can just go back and pick it full screen and see what is uh, what's happening here basically it's a simple uh, prompt that we you know uh, you know, uh, like um, we're just telling the AI that hey, you have to kind of get the font, you have to get the brand name, color scheme, everything, even the hex color codes. If the font style is this, you have to get that as well. Every damn thing, okay? So basically, this you can go through with this and you can understand it. And if you want to change something out of it, you can do it, okay? So go back and uh, now we need to uh, we need the URL of the image. So you can see URL drag and drop it in here that is going to be the url of this image and if we execute this it's going to give us a prompt for the image that it has analyzed so this is going to be the prompt for the image that's it it has green color and it has these light green and dark green font style is nothing because it has no fonts right let's go back and here it's fine and since we have got everything right now what we need to do is we need to add an ai agent right so let's go ahead and add ai agent now we're gonna make the prompts for this one okay so click here and add define below so for this one we have to add prompt user you know uh, for the prompt for the user message which is going to be this one copy this entire prompt and copy it paste it in here double click on it i mean open it the user instructions i'm going to be deleting this one now this is because this is going to be from that one so the user instruction is going to be our prompt that we have just given it and the reference image description is going to be the the analyze uh, of you know the content of analyze because it has analyzed the you know image so that content should be here and this is going to you know get everything it has given us this hex name color name and everything function every everything so you can go through with this prompt you can read this uh, what we have given to this one okay so and another one let's go with system message so we have another prompt and okay so copy this one it's a big one so we have to copy it entirely okay perfect copy it and Go ahead and paste it all right so this is a system prompt we have just you know designed in such a way that it can understand everything it, it, it will generate the prompt to uh for that image to kind of you know insert this um, dress onto the woman okay uh okay and i think it's perfect it has good prompt example it has bad product example as well we don't need to change anything in here okay now we need to add the chat model which is going to be the open ai chat model open ai and here let's just go with photo 4.1 mini which is fine also let's go with the tool which is going to be the think tool and 
we don't need to change anything we will only we're only telling him that if you need to think then you can use the tool okay and if we go ahead and just execute the step it is going to give us a prompt let's go ahead and do that execute as you can see here this is the prompt for the image that we have to generate next okay perfect so go ahead and what we need to do is now simply we will go ahead and just add the another HTTP request node which is gonna be the uh, part where we are actually going to generate an image and for this thing we're gonna be going to the fal AI so this is gonna be the fal AI one second if you don't have any account on fal AI you have to make it and you have to uh, add some money into this let's just say ten dollar five dollar depends on you uh, to test it out it's fine you can go with five dollar or ten dollars to test all of these things and in here uh, what we need to do is first thing uh, let's uh, search the model is going to be the uh, banana banana edit and this is going to be the image editing this is this is the one that we are going to use and it is going to cost you 0 0.039 uh, cents per image okay that's way more cheaper right now uh, we need the apis uh, for this one so uh, go to the api but basically you don't need to copy anything from here because i have already given it to you uh, in here that's it here right perfect okay uh, now uh, go back to the workflow the method should be the post the URL is, is going to be the this one and paste it in here. The authentication should be generic. The header auth is going to be the header and the header uh, here should be the header. You can just go and create new credentials. Once you do that, add the author name as an authorization. Uh, I'll show you like this. okay uh this is going to be like this name should be authorization as as it is and the key the api key should be like this um let me just go back to the uh, file and you have to go back to the file and click on api keys add key and generate key and copy the key that's it but how do you have to post it you have to post it like uh let me just add it here right it's key space and this key that's it okay simple there is no uh, enter or any return or something it's key space then the api key okay and once you do that you paste it in here and you save it and you go back and that's it and then uh, we need to go uh, to the send body here json and JSON here using JSON. Now we need to add the you know the body parameters here. Go back to the document and copy this entire thing. Copy it, paste it. Perfect. All right. Now let's go ahead and execute the step. Perfect. Uh, so it says a status in queue, as you can see here. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and add a wait because we need to add a wait node here. Uh, give it like five seconds I think five seconds is fine but normally it would like 10 to 15 seconds but for the sake of the video let's go ahead and execute the step for five seconds okay perfect now let's just pin this node because I don't want to generate this image again and again now uh, go back and here add the uh, another HTTP request node but I would copy this one and paste it in here and add here like unpin this one double click on it the method should be the get one this should be different uh, this time now the url is going to be this one delete this one keep on an expression now here uh, it should have a, the request id which is going to be this one paste it in here so this is going to be the url so it is q.fal.run uh, fal ai nano banana request so the request is going to be this one right the request id rest of the things is the same but only thing that you have to do is uncheck the send body because which this time we don't need to just uh, you know send anything because we are going to get something so go back and just uh, execute the step your uh, request is invalid because it could not be processed by the service 
might be some issue let's go ahead and execute again so let's check uh, what's happening here uh, is our okay uh, our image has not been generated yet it has given us 4222 error so i think we need to go back and we need to generate this step again execute sometimes it happens we cannot do anything about it and let's go ahead and add a wait node again i mean just wait for five seconds uh, we can even track the request is it really happening uh let's refresh it okay it's done um now go back here and since we have already this node here just double just click on to execute the step it's going to give us this request perfect as you can see here uh, the URL has been given. Let's check this node. Add another node, which is going to be HTTP request node. And here, keep it as get. But in the URL, drop this that you know uh, the final URL from the val. And if we execute this, if we can see the image. But first thing that I'm going to show you, I want to show you uh, the image basically that we had. This was this image. This was the image, if you can see here. And I'll just keep it like this. And view all right one second if I open it in new tab check this out doesn't it look you know it looks crazy and perfect you can see here the dress and the dress here check this out man I'm really blown away check the fingers it's perfect like the dress the pattern is every detail is perfect i mean imagine what you could do with this honestly all right so let's go back and to the editing and since this workflow is completely uh, done so this this was the main workflow that we can do but in this workflow what we have learned is how we can add our dresses to you know um, to you know automatic generated uh, images of a person but next time what we are going to do is we're going to be generating the uh, you know uh, images the ugc images where we will select the model where we will select the dress and it will be on i mean uh, I, I have like so many different things in my mind right now that I can do with this. I can simply go ahead and make a an, uh, web app uh, with the webhook data and I can uh, where we can just simply add in the image, a prompt and you know a couple of different things and once we hit generate the end result will be the final image. I mean you can sell that, you can just put that online uh, and add any subscription model in there and you can sell it at a very cheap cost. I mean that that's insane really so uh, that's what that so that's it uh, for today and if you have any questions regarding this um, you can just simply leave a comment in the, in the comment section and whatever the question whatever problems you you may feel using this uh, workflow uh, I'm sure some of you might get some problems because uh, it's a technical thing so you know we tend to get these problems but I'm here I'm always going to help you and I have always helped every one of you I reply to every single comment so just comment in the down below and whatever requirement that you have whatever uh, video that i that you guys want me to make i'm gonna make it and yeah so that's it so uh before you go just subscribe to the channel and like and share this video and just leave a very amazing and good comment so that you know i'll get motivated and make more content for you thank you guys have a good day